Hello and welcome to hopefully Space Engineers recording properly today. So, last episode, we built the welding ship. I also welded up the bridge. Uh, it's pretty cool. I'm happy with the result. Um, I was going to put, like, support pillars down on the bridge, you know, because that's kind of what bridges need to, like, be across giant chasms. But I'm not going to lie. Build it, welding up that bridge and that kind of um, sucked the life out of me. It was a, it was a tiring project. The right word, I don't know. Exhausting. I, don't, I don't know. Word England is hard, but like, yeah. I, 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 I'm, I'm done with the bridge. I'm just gonna pretend it's like some sort of magic Halo Star Wars type bridge where it's got like maybe mag lift things on the bottom of it. Yeah, and that that's how it floats. Okay, that that's that that's the law we're going with. Because I don't want to have to build a hundred pillars. It was a pain in the butt <laughs> to, just to build it the way it is. Anyway, so what are we doing in this episode? Well, this episode, I thought we would build... I don't know what we're going to build. I think we'll build like a warehouse production type thing. Like a proper... Where, uh, I don't want to... I think... Yeah, not, not so much warehouse... More, I want it to look more like a garage, but I want it to be like a proper production building. I want like three, uh, I want like three or four assemblers with, um, with like speed modules. I want, um, what else do I want? I want, um, like proper refineries with yield. I can't build yield modules though, I don't think. I'm pretty sure. Yield modules require something that requires like silver or platinum. So you require superconductors. Okay, what do I need for superconductors? Superconductors. You need gold. Yeah, we don't have any gold. Alright, there's no gold. What about reactor components? What do you have? Silver. Yeah. Because I've got like 10 reactor components, I think. Yeah, so, um, hmm. Can't have yield modules yet. Not until we go to the moon. We need to go to the moon for gold. So, I guess we'll just have speed modules. But a refinery... Oh, see, I'm confused. I'm confused. If anyone knows, can you let me know? Is a basic refinery better for iron? Or is a refinery with loaded with speed modules better for iron? I'm honestly not sure. I, I thought that the refineries used to be better... are, are, are better than a... So a normal regular refinery, this refinery is better than a, ba a normal refinery with no upgrades on it. But I'm not sure if it's better because it has, it just does it faster or if it just, or if it gives you more and does it a little bit faster. I don't know. Does it actually tell me in the description of it? Uh, basic, basic refiners refine limited types of ores into ingots. Advanced refineries or refine all ores into ingots. So it doesn't actually say. So yeah, I'm kind of confused. Um, it probably used to be better. I don't know. Bugger it. We're just going to go with like normal refineries. <laughs> with speed modules, I guess. But yeah, so I, I need to build... That's what we're going to build today. We're going we're gonna to work on that kind of building refinery type place. Uh, one other thing. What else did I want to do? Ah, yes. So I do have another plan. So I, like I said... Um, end with the previous part of this series before we get the soft reboot. I want to build like a little town, a colony on each of these planets and on the planet and then in the moon. Like the planet here will probably have the big colony, like like a bunch of houses, uh, buildings, uh, proper refinery place, etc, etc. The moon, wherever the hell the moon is, it's not on this side. Is that the moon? No, that's not the moon. That's another planet. But wherever the moon is, that'll have, uh, is that the moon there? Maybe. That might be the moon over there. Um, that'll have, like, just a base on it, you know, like, that kind of thing. Like, it'll have, like, a little base with a small amount of living quarters, nothing major. You know, I just want to have, like, a little outpost around the galaxy, around the system, and then here would be the main base. I want that kind of setup. That's the setup I'm aiming for. Um, but in order to, like, make this place filled out, that means I'd have to build a bunch of homes, right? You know, it's just kind of, otherwise it'd just be my house and refinery, uh, production building, which is kind of, you know... If I was just playing for just playing to play, that's the way I do it. But I'm playing for fun. I want to have this a little bit of RP. So instead of me busting my balls trying to build 
Many different kinds of houses are just getting absolutely brain fried. I've decided that I will use houses from the workshop. So we've got a few houses from various people on the workshop here. Uh, like we got these two, these two houses are from Wilji. Wilji, I hope I'm saying that right. It's a or, name of the day. Guess that's how you would spell it. Say it. Anyway, we got that. We got a house from Wazel. Is that what that's supposed to be? Is it Wolf or Z3 all? Anyway, I uh, got that. We got another house here by Jukabala. And then we got a bunch of these houses. I think there's like five of them. They're from Dark Sith. Sick Doctor. Uh, my apologies. Doctor Dark Sith Skeeter. Skeet Skeet. And that was stupid. And then, not the name, just what I said. Uh, and then Mech Jin Jini, I'm guessing he's a redhead. Or she's a redhead. Or they're, they're a redhead. Um. They got two houses from them too. So I think I put like probably like, I think there's like 11 of them. I probably put like eight in here in this town just to kind of like fill it out. Uh, I'll probably put like, I'll put them up in between episodes. Um, just when I'm hanging out with mates chatting, I can just, you know, quickly slap the blueprint down and weld it all together. Shouldn't take too long. They're not going to be functional. I'm not going to use them for anything. So they're just for looks. Alright, so I don't really have to go all too ham on building up everything that's in them. Some of them have refineries and stuff in them, which I'm not going to bother doing. Uh, I just, unless they break the way the house looks. I just want a basic layout of the house that I can work off. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, anyway, moving on. That's not important. Today's episode is we got to build a, um, a production house. Before we do the production, though, I just remembered... So I've got like 10 reactor components. So what I'm thinking is, I got them from grinding down a crash ship somewhere. So what I'm thinking is, what I may want to do, yeah, what I may want to do is I, I want to break them up. Assuming uh, you're chilled because you've run out of you know, magnesium, that's not a good sign either. So let's just break up these 10 reactor components that I have, right? It should give us a little bit of silver and things. Okay, that should be great. And then let's go to this other one, assembler two, that's on assembling. And I want to build the next tier with the tools. So I'm not going to bother with the drill just yet. But what we'll, we'll get is I want a proficient grinder. I wanted to get this, but I think you need. I can't tell what I need. I think it's like gold or platinum. I'm pretty sure it's platinum, and I don't have platinum. So let's queue up one of those. No, no, don't, don't assemble those. Rude. Uh, and no, 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 just just one, just one for now. Okay. You're not trying to stop stop welding things. Stop it. Stop it. Stop assemb. Stop it. Anyway, it, hopefully I've uh, I've played around with it long enough that I've got these tools, which are probably in the toolbox now. Excellent. So I'm gonna keep that one. You can have that one. You can have this one. I want this one, and I want this one. There we go. That should help with quite a fair bit with our uh, well, with my with our um, welding and grinding and things. So I like these. Very rarely have I ever actually built upgraded tools. I usually find them in ships by now. So, um, but I haven't been going stealing ships. So anyway, I'm going to steal a bunch of these blocks. There we go. That should do. Uh, how's our bottles? Our bottles are full. Excellent. Okay, so where do we want it? So this section here, I kind of want to leave this section here to, for the houses. So I'm thinking maybe the production building will be here. Ish, it's kind of like sort of flat area. Kind of, what do you think? I think here would be perfect. So what we want, we're going to need a big area for this. Um, all right, let's just kind of, I want to kind of line it up this way. That's the way I kind of want to do it. But you got to carry all up there. It was funny before, there was a, a ship that was like a destroyer or a frigate or something. And it said it was patrolling the area. And I was like, oh, that's uh, interesting. To, for it to be patrolling the area, but it wasn't moving, so I checked and it was actually crashed. Is it still there? Um, entity list. Uh, I think that's in space. Yeah. 
Um, nope, I get these are all the crash ships that have crashed. <laughs> well, not crashed, they got into fights with. Um, that's an interesting, ugly looking ship. I like it. They got into fights with Reavers and crashed. Or with each other or crashed. They, they got into some sort of fight and crashed. Anyway, so I want this here. Uh, you know what, actually? Can I. I kind of think I want like a drive through. Uh, kind of like a drive through. What would you call it? Well, like a, you know, uh, a carport kind of deal. I think I want to drive through carport kind of deal. So I think I want it about that big. Alright, I'm going to have to make you come pretty big as well so the cleanup doesn't delete you, that the cleanup shouldn't work unless I fly far away from you. How big is that? Uh, that should be... Yeah. Go about that long, and how deep do we want it? Probably... Yeah, that should be big enough, I think, for a workshop, shouldn't it? Let's see, is it even? Or odd numbered? 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Excellent! I like buildings being odd numbered, it just makes things easier. Actually, speaking of which, is it actually odd numbered the other way? Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14, 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. You're not! You're an even number. How dare you! You are offensive to me, sir. Alright, so I think we want something like that big. I think that'll look good. It's a little production area. We'll have like a drive through section for the cars. The stuff that I'll have bringing over like ores and things. Because we've got to get we've got to get vehicles to bring ores over and stuff. Because you know, I, I, like I said, RP-ish kind of world. That's my plan. All right. So what I'm going to quickly do is I'm going to fill this in. I'm going to get the welding ship out here probably and weld all of this up. Um, and then, then we can get on with the actual building of the interior, which I think is going to be in the, an important part of the building. I don't know why, there's just something about the having the an interior of a building that I feel is an, like an important part of the building. I don't know, I'm just rambling. Skip! Well, the pads are welded up. That went actually really smoothly, it's pretty quickly. I love this thing, it really does make my life so much easier. All I had to do, it took two passes. I got like, I think it gets five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it'll get five. If I fly it in the middle, it'll get five at a time. So all I had to really weld up was like this row and then that row. Uh, it was, yeah, it was beautiful. It was amazing. I love the welders. Uh, anyway, moving on. So what else are we going to do? Now, I think what we should probably do is we should probably place down the, the building blocks that we're going to, or the production blocks rather, that we're going to use. So... What we're going to use are uh, refineries, if I can ever actually find them, even though, there we go, uh, refinery, bam, we're going to have assembler, bam, of course we're going to use the new industrial ones because they look awesome, uh, what else are we going to need, assembler, refinery, uh, I think that's probably all it, but we will need the modules, speed, speed is always better. And we'll need some wind turbines because it's going to be wind powered. All right. So industrial refinery. We're going to put this here. Now I'm thinking. Hmm, trying to decide. Do I want the modules hanging outside of the thing? You know what? To be honest. Yes, I do want the modules hanging outside. I'm going to put that there. Um, okay. So if I should I put them up. Should I put them right there up against the wall? Because I'm going to use the flat plates to do the wall on the outside. Um, should we do that right there on the edges? Will that look alright or should I move them in one? I mean, the only, there is no real advantage, I suppose, to moving it in one. Oh, actually, you know what, hold on. Yeah, you know what, we're going to move it in one. And I'll show you why we're going to move it in one. Because I just had a thought brainwave. So I want to put this in one like so, 
put uh, this in one like I said in one yes there okay boom we put that there that's two large refineries we want four I think we might want four let's put four and then we're gonna want the assemblers all right because why would you not want the assemblers I'm getting confused <laughs> it's not hard to do so, all right so if we put the assemblers here did the refineries have side access? You got one on that side and one on that side. So you have on the back and the back. Okay, yep, sweet. So you put this here, and my dog has decided to play with his toy right now. So you put that there because there's a side access port there. So we put one there. We put one there. All right, I think that'll that should work pretty good. Then what I can do. Uh, will that work actually because you have a weird way of doing connection boards okay so you got you'll only be able to have two speed modules on the assemblers but you know what I think that's fine I really only really need two speed modules because what I wanted to do oh can I get it yeah I, I can put three speed modules in it because I don't want to cut up the ground oh no I can't no I can't two speed modules because I want to have the I want there to be like a walkway going across here um, I think that'll be cool if there was a walkway going from one side to the other with like a, do I have this can I build the catwalk I can't build the catwalk can I um, give me one sec Hello? no yeah go play with your toy down there he literally ran away from me the second I turned around and looked at him he knew what was up that dog is not a silly dog he is one of the smartest animals I've ever met uh, okay so what I'm do I have construction components? I got three. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so cause I wonder if they could kind of be like a walkway. Now, we don't really need the back. I, I, I need the one sided rail. Thank you. So I was thinking like a walkway from here to over here would be pretty cool. Like that. Then we come over here, and then there'd be like a stairwell. A little walkway, then the stairwell coming down to here. That was my plan. Now, uh, let's go grab. Uh, what do I need for the stairs? I need construction components. Okay, well, I need a bunch of construction components. Why didn't I bring them with me? I don't know. Um, they weren't a priority at the time? Yeah, let's go with that. Okay, con, not con, can, con, not, not cow, construction components. Yep, give me those. Thanks. I just need them to do some layouty stuff. Okay, let's zip over here. I love jetpacks. Jetpacks are awesome until you run out of jetpack fuel and it gives you no warning. Then jetpacks are evil. Okay, so what I'm thinking is we'll have uh, some three. No, that's not three. That is. Give me. Don't really need railings, but I just want the I want the way the pattern works with the corner things. Then we can go. Like that, and then we'll have the stairwell up there. So, bam, walk across here. Um, yep, bam, bam. Then we can come across here, and then we'll have another stairwell going down. I mean, we don't really need the stairwell going down, to be honest, because we have these st stairs here that go all the way up to this area as well. But you know what? I want them, and I've done them, so number five is the button I'm looking for. Okay. Nope, okay, I fell off. Unable to place graded stairs because you're being evil. Gotcha. It wants me to put it like that. It won't let me put it there. So what we do is we just come over here. Get a, get <laughs> put a little corner light there like so. And then watch this. Bam, we can place it. Awesome. And the benefit of having a corner light there is that it'll actually give us light underneath these stairs. So I'm going to put one on this side even though I don't really need it right now. Okay, there we go. That's pretty cool. I'm liking that. I think that'll work well. Obviously, we're going to have to put a connection point here. So, what should we have? Oh, I know exactly what one we should have. Uh, I even have it on the hotbar. We should have the pipe one. I want the T-pose. Because T pose for the win. I can't place the T pose. I don't have interior plate. Of course, I don't have interior plate. Why don't I have interior plate? Huh? Well, I should have just had it on me. Huh? What? Why? Why? Why does interior plate have to be so difficult? Just hide enemy. 
hide enemy? No, hide empty. Hide empty is the word I wanted, not hide enemy. No, you can't go outside. You gotta wait till mum's dog's finished eating, and then you can go outside because you two like to fight when you when you don't. I said you have to wait. <laughs> he just stares at me like, you said what now? Um, anyway, what was I doing? Oh uh, yeah, okay, so put that there. And let me go with the interface, because I added the interface mod. Because I love the interface mod, because it looks cool. Look at that. Boom. And then we have like a little access terminal here. And that whole work section. That's going to look pretty good when it's rebuilt, actually. I, I, I'm not going to lie. I'm looking forward. No, you can't go outside just yet, Bubba. No, you can't. Don't stand there staring at me, wagging your tail, going, please, can I go outside? you got to wait like five more minutes, and then, you, then I can let you out. I know, I know you want to play with your buddy, but, you know, you, you two, when it comes to food, are not very uh, friendly. They literally, like, have full-on, like, snarl, growl at each other. It's, it's actually pretty bad. Uh, anyways, <laughs> speed modules. We want speed modules, so I think we want them, like, so. I wanted these on the outside because it kind of gives the building, like, just, just that little bit of an extra look of, like, hey, this is industrial type. I don't know. Maybe I'm just talking at my butt. I need well, the bottom parts here. I forgot about those. Okay, so your speed modules as well. Okay, I think that'll look good. Okay, okay, there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> Stop saying yeah. Now what we need is... What do I want to do here? So... I'm thinking windows. Yeah. Windows? Yeah, definitely windows. What kind of windows do we want though? That's the question. Do we want these windows? Or do we want the uh, these windows or the other windows? We got these new windows. That might look interesting. No, 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 no. I was going to say they might look interesting. They would look interesting, but they'd leave gaps. And I don't really need gaps in my life right now. Plus, it, let me place them there. Because I haven't got a girder. No, I'm just going to pretend that it actually just won't let me place it there. Uh, window. No, you can't go outside. Stop it. Barred window. Is that a new thing? Or is that a DLC? It's a DLC. Okay, yeah. It's not a new thing either. It's Wasteland. It's a Wasteland DLC, so that's an old one. But that's not the window I'm looking for. Where's the other bloody windows? I swear. Where are they? Where are the other windows? That's a cool window, by the way, but it's not going to work for what we want. Um... Is it is under here? Here it is. This is the one I'm looking for. So, uh, do I want vent windows? I don't feel like I want vent windows. I feel like I want these kind of windows. So we have like that window there, that window there, that window, that window. Should we have a vent? Uh, should we just have another one of these windows? I might just go with that window like that, and then. Yeah, I feel like that would look good. Then maybe what we can do, actually, um, is... There we go, I've already got on my hotbar. Awesome. Maybe we can change up the wall so it comes in like that. I think that looks alright. I think... Yeah, I am not opposed to that look at all. What do you guys think? I mean, I know it's kind of hard to see without it being all welded up. But I think that'll look good. I do. I really do. Okay, moving on from that. The next part that we want, okay, is over here. So, I need normal block. Um, do I need normal block? No. Give me... G. I can't see the G button because my drink's in the way. Uh, G, give me steel plate. Alright, puppy, you can go outside. It's probably been close to five minutes. There you go. Be free. Don't come back in like two seconds begging for me to open the door, which you probably will. Alright, so, what do I want? I'm just trying to think. I'm thinking. So, we're gonna want, um. I'm thinking, I want like this. So, you gotta go up like four, don't you? One, two, three, and four to cover the height of the refineries. I want these like support beams. I might, I'm probably gonna actually change that up a little bit, like. Yeah, I am. I'm going to make that round in a minute. But I want support beams there. And then maybe I'll have this come off like so. 
So we've got one, two, three support beam. How's that gonna look? Will that work? Bam. Let's go like that. Alright, uh, can I just, for a quick sanity's sake, uh, move this here so it's just easier to jump between the two. So we go like that. One, two, three, three, one, one, two, three, one, one. Okay, so that's not gonna, that doesn't line up the right. Okay, let's take this out. Alright, so we got the corner one here. Yeah, like so. Then let's go with one, two, three, and then we'll have the piece here. Bam. Then we got this section here. Alright, so one, two, three, four, five, in middle section, and then maybe the middle bit here would be where the door is. Or hmm. What gates do I have? Just those, just the normal vanilla gate. Okay. Um, what's the normal vanilla gate gonna look like? So I put it there. It's gonna stick out a bit, isn't it? Yeah, I don't really want it to stick out like that. But if I put it on the inside, hmm. Okay, so we put it on the inside like so. Is that in the middle? So put it on the inside like so, like that. Then, whoop, whoop, let's calm down. Calm the hell down. Maybe we can do some sort of pattern on the inside here. Bam, bam. Huh, I've got an idea. I have an idea. A terrible, terrible idea. That may actually be pretty bloody awesome. Okay, so, um, can we give me this for a sec? Alright. Again, these are going to change in a minute. I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to place things in my brain. That's not the button I wanted to press. Uh, there we go. Uh, eight, give me these. There we go with windows again. Bam. 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 Mm, I don't really like those ones. Those ones don't really suit here. I wanted to be able to see down. Like down to here. So maybe what we'll have to do is we'll go with a 2x1, a 1x1, one, one one, and a 2x1 normal window. The old school windows. I think we might do that. Then we'll have like a lookout space here on top of the gate. And I'm thinking in order to get to this lookout space, we're going to go back to our trusty old catwalks. All right. Um, maybe, yeah, we'll go with like that one for now. Oop, I fell off. It's fine. Go like that. Then I think we go like this. And then let's go back to the two. Okay, can we stop picking a pain? Let's go like this. Come all the way across to this one here. Uh, let's just get rid of that for now and replace that with a. Just give me, there we go, that's the one I want, bam. So we've got like a catwalk system that goes up here. I think that'll look interesting. The other dog is at my door. It's not my dog, it's the other one, my mum's one. All right, uh, so we've got like that, cargo. Put that in here. Okay, so we do want the cargo, because there's got to be cargo in here, right? Like it's going to have a lot of production, so we're going to need a lot of cargo. So I'm thinking... Two cargo containers there. Maybe two here. Yeah, so I come in, you got that cargo container, that cargo container there. I think that'll look pretty cool. And then, so we're gonna go too high. We'll have piping running across the top. I think that'll look all right. So we'll have like, um, 
the conveyor pipes. We'll go with the, these good old boys. Um, thinking. Should we go? Yeah, let's put it down this way. Alright, and then. Maybe like this. I said, place! You do what I say! I'm the one in charge! Okay, so. How do I want this one to go? Should I just have a T junction? Or a cross junction? And, or should I have the f six way? So if we go six ways, then I'll be able to go. To where I don't really need to go. Now, I need one that goes up onto the roof. I think I only need this one. Because I think I only need one that goes on the roof, and then one that goes sideways. Because I'm pretty sure the refineries and that I kind of want to have connected on the outside. You're going to come up here. Like, um, uh, what block are we going to use on the roof? Are we going to go full blocks? We might go full blocks. So, like that. We'll go full block. Yeah, I think we're going to go full block. Uh, where's the refinery connector on the roof? I actually don't even know if the, these ones have ones on the roof. Uh, refine. That's not refinery. That's T. Refinery. Yep. Yeah, so they do have one on the top. Uh, I don't need to draw right now. So you're in the. You'll be in the back. Yeah. I just want to see where you are. I'm pretty sure they're in the back. Yep. Yeah, so they're in the back right corner. All right. So that actually hmm, makes life a little bit awkward because it's going to be here on that one, here on that one. So maybe we're going to have just uh, should we do a flange pipe? It doesn't really matter. You're not going to see it, are you? So we just go pipe. But we only really need to pipe up one on each side, don't we? So you may go with that one there, so we can leave the corners uh, uh, sealed. Is that the word I'm looking for? And then, so you're going to be... Uh, that's not right. Yeah, no, I don't want you there. Alright, so you're going to be there, then you should be that one on this side. That is connected up, I think. Uh, yeah, I know, my energy is always critical. At least they give you decent warning with that one, unlike the bloody jetpack fuel. I can't believe they haven't fixed that. Fix the damn jetpack warning. Alright, let's go like that. Bam. Alright, so we're going to have these come. And we'll meet up with this conveyor junction here. Um, I want the normal conveyor junction, actually. Just for this part. Bam. And then we can go with another T one like so. Because like up here, like don't forget that like this is the roof, right? So that's why I wanted the normal one, because the normal one's almost like a perfect square that kind of will blend in with the ground and not leave any holes. So are we gonna come have, have that that? Actually, you know what? We're gonna probably want. I'm gonna probably want number nine. That one. I think I am gonna want that one because we're gonna have to have a way of connecting the vehicles up, right? Aren't we? And I know I could just connect. Um. The where's the pipe? Boom. Like so. I could just connect this straight to the cargo container down there. But I, I I'm gonna. I'm kind of liking the idea of having. A um, pipe on the roof. I think it kind of looks cool in my mind. And I think it looks cool in everyone's mind. That's what I'm choosing to believe. I'm choosing to believe everyone is agreeing with me right now and saying, oh yeah, I see what you're saying, Smokey. This will look really cool. Alright, so we do that. Again, all of this will be sealed with roof. Bam, bam, thank you, thank you. Okay. 
Uh, here we gotta have triangle. Nope, that's not right, but that's fine. Alright, like that. Bam, bam, bam. Alright, let's see. Yeah, I think that'll look pretty cool. Now for this side. Now for this side. Okay. We need to make archways. How much jetpacks have I got? I got like a whole bottle left. Okay, so I just want to quickly fly over to the bridge because I feel like if we go over to this bridge and if I make the archway to that, um, put uh, the, the archway to that like carport thing, yeah, yeah, I know you're gonna get mad at me because I'm flying too fast. Uh, yeah, so what have we, we got? One, two, three high. Three high. If I make the archway the same, then in theory, any vehicles I make to go in there sh should fit in the bridge. That's what I was trying to say before. I got distracted by being set on fire, nearly, and, um, yeah, complaining. No, shush, no energy. I have energy, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm gonna keep building until I start getting hurt, which will happen when the sun goes down. Okay, so we gotta three high. Three high. Now, Um, I got no energy, so I can't actually bloody do anything. It's so annoying. Alright, so with three high. Three high. Yeah, I'm gonna have to put down a. I'll have to put down. A thing. A, a, a pad for everyone to drive on. Just so I can do this better in my head. Uh, bam. Alright, so. We're gonna go one, two, three, four, five. I think the bridge is about five wide as well. So we got like this, two, and three wide. Okay, so if I get rid of that for a sec, and I put this down, and then I go with this again, and then maybe like that. How would that look? Would that look fine? Three, four, five. I don't know why you were taking so long to fall down. Okay, put this here. Put this here. Like that. So I'll have that like that. And we'll have like a three height entrance way. And I'm thinking for the roof, I might just put solar panels. Yeah, I think I'll put solar panels on that on that roof line. Um, with this section. Okay, we're gonna go like that. Just the the flat walls, like so. Yeah, I think that'll look good. Flat walls like so, we'll come through. Um, just thinking. Do I have to actually weld these up? I probably will. Oh, that's a shame. I was kind of hoping I could leave them um, as support brackets. Not welded up. But I think I will have to weld those ones up. I might not, I won't have to weld the middle ones up. So I'll have, weld these ones up and this one up, and then I'll leave these middle ones unwelded because I don't have to weld these ones up because this is that that sloped block on the back of it. So it will just look like a wall anyway. Yeah, I think that's the way to go. All right, so this has been a long talky episode. So I'm just gonna get to work welding all of this stuff up, and then once it's all done, I'll come back and I'll show you guys the finished product. So I'll see you probably in a few hours, or for you in a second. Well, I have done, gone, done, done, and done it. I don't know what the hell I was just saying. I've done it. I've welded things up. I've flown around for a bit. I've just been transferring everything over to the to the to this new base and stuff and things, and everything has gone quite well. So here, here's what we've got. We've got a nice little workshop thing. We've got our entranceway here, which I think kind of looks cool. I changed this up a little bit just to give it like a little bit more of a rounded look. 
I think that looks pretty. That, that looks pretty good. I'm quite happy with that. I was toying with the idea of putting it there, but no. I, I kind of like having it, the bottom a bit more open than the top. Um, I think this looks great. I am happy with it. It comes in here. We've got some spare tires here. We've got a bunch of spare tires there. Totally worth the resources that I, I used to put them there. Then we come in here. Um, this is it. This is the refineries. It looks cool. We've got little worker bees everywhere doing their worker bee things. I chuck some batteries in too, which these are probably like yeah, like I'm using 842 percent of the power right now because I went and did a little bit more mining in that mine, which I actually had to change around. I'm gonna show you that in a second actually, because it's getting real weird. But like inventory, like we're refining all this stuff. Actually, what have we got? Let's just hide our empty. So with all of these with the speed modules on, because I was down to like a just over a thousand iron at 265 these have been running for like 10 minutes or something not even about five ten minutes or something these have been running for and I've already got like that much like it's pretty cool it, it's nuts with the um, with the speed modules on there but look at the speed modules right so we come over here we're using 842 percent power uh, can I access this here I can't see 842 percent I go speed while we're here, we'll just quickly put this in modules. Alright, we'll just save that. But we turned these off. Bam! 194%. I mean, we're still using more power than we're producing, but, you know, that's why I put batteries on. But, yeah. I'm going to have to put more power on this thing. <laughs> and the speed modules are just killers. But, you know what? They're fine. You know, I actually don't need the speed modules right now. Um... We'll turn them off because if I've got 200 and something odd, <clears throat> if I've got 200 and something odd ingots, that should tie me over for a little bit. 200,000 that is. So we'll just do that and then that way the batteries won't go. Did I see something moving on the hot bar? Oh, it's just that thing. I'm getting paranoid. Oh, it's getting dark time. Uh, so here we go. This is our like, a little mine. I put a bunch of wind farms on. That one is poor. <clears throat> These two edges are good, that one's optimal, that one's optimal, and that one's good. <laughs> so, you know, they're doing their job, it is what it is, it's fine. Oh, that's right, I put a connector up here for this mining ship, didn't have to do that by hand. Oh, well. Anyway, let's have a look. I just want to quickly show you guys, before we wrap this episode up, just how um, sketchy my mind is getting. Oh, don't go too high. Smack into the roof again. Alright, let's go. Like the mine, yeah, it's doing its job. It's working pretty well. I, I'm semi happy with it. Um, I may have got a bit spoilt on the Earth modded planet, the modded Earth planet that we we're on when we started this series, where the iron was sort of flat and straight. <laughs> but uh, it's fine. I think we've uh, improvised, we've adapted, we've overcome. I think we're doing pretty well. Also, I kind of blew up the landing gear over here. Not the landing gear, sorry, the landing pad on this mine um yeah I, I did that with the thrusters it was it was a thing all right it was a thing how are our batteries going can i see no because i intelligent oh yes i can so we're just over 25 percent battery power still that's pretty cool it means i can also show you the ridiculousness of the recharge okay let's just i don't have to land properly here today because we're not gonna be picking up anything all right let's just land all right we'll turn these off well, I also didn't bring all the iron ore back with me I couldn't bring it all back because um, I filled that ship up and I took all I could <laughs> but like see we scored in here that we got 600 so I got about I reckon just under half I reckon I got like 40% of the iron into that cargo ship so that's pretty good this thing's just going it's doing its thing um, but if we just kind of fall down here, we <laughs> you can see I'm now I'm now using the rotor to go to sideways. Well, at least I was until the iron. Oh, it got dark. Is now up in the roof. So, um, yeah, <laughs> that's how I mind. I mind. It's like it's just swinging it backwards and forwards. It's pretty fun. And I figured out a better way to use the rotor is I just kind of I've set it to like point four movement speed or something like that. 
and when I want to move the thing I, I on my hotbar I just put reverse and lock so if we turn the lock off it'll go this way at the moment because I had to set going back from when I was mining last if I want to go the other way we can just go like this and it should work nicely I don't even know where it's gonna end up actually because I think did I, did I mine properly I did mine properly and then just before it hits, it's like BAM! Lock! No, reverse! Like that. I mean, I suppose technically you don't even have to hit the lock button. You can just go reverse. And that's how I've been doing <laughs> That's how I've been mining with this. It's working. It's effective. There hasn't really been, in, been any clang or anything. Not that it has been for a while, really, if we're honest about pistons. As long as you're not doing some weird, ridiculous, crazy thing. But yeah. Anyway... Oh, no, I was about to end the episode, but I haven't shown you the crazy recharge rate of the bridge. Which, it won't be crazy recharge rate. Actually, you know what, we can do some tests. Alright, we're gonna do some tests. Uh, let's just, just go this way. Uh, that would be into the ground, we don't want to go that way. Alright, my little, my little cargo connector that I slapped on here is over here. Oh, this is such an ugly spot for this cargo connector. I could probably put it in the middle there. Over in between, like, there, in between that little uppity rampy bit. I think that'll look alright. Did I not hold that? Or are they just all different colour? I think they're all different colour. Um, anyway. Bridge still needs to be painted. I don't know what colours I'm going to paint it, to be honest. Okay, so we go here. Uh, we press 4. Okay. Battery. Bam. Recharged in 18 minutes. And they're at like what, just over twenty five percent, maybe thirty. They might be, at, they might be just under fifty percent battery fully charged. But eighteen minutes is pretty bloody good. Now I just want to check something because I'm curious. Uh, okay, let's make it day. We'll give the solar panels a minute to. Did I make it proper day? I don't even know where the sun is there. Come on, solar panels. I need you all to. Yeah, maybe if we make it like midday day. Uh, nope, not there yet. Close enough. Okay, so yeah, they're full. Okay, excellent. Uh, oop, 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 careful. Okay. Battery, so 18 minutes down to 10 minutes. Alright, yeah, so that does make a, bit, a little bit of a difference. I would think it would. Um, but yeah, so batteries, 13 minutes. Well, apparently they're at 13 minutes now. It's fine. It was a, a different one that was at 18 minutes. Nope. I don't know. It did not take me five minutes to that. Anyway, that's going to be it for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that other fun stuff. And as always, have a good one, and I'll see you all next time. Bye. Bye. Alright, now I gotta get you back. Uh, actually no, I'm gonna leave you there to charge. How the hell am I gonna get back? Oh no.